The Theater Guild wants to tell some real stories from some real people. And we got some real people right here in the studio from the Theater Guild. We have uh, Keith L.A., uh, Wilkinson, and Terry Bromfield. I'm, I'm, I know I messed those up, but I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll do better someday. That's okay. <laughs> you're, you're not the first. <laughs> not the first or the last. So tell us about the, 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 this theater, the program you have coming up. It's, kind of a, it's a little departure from the, you know, a fictional or putting on Shakespeare or something like that. This is real yeah. stories, real people. Yeah, do you want to yes. talk about it? So what we did is we decided to have a three-session workshop mm -hmm. where we could help people develop their stories. And this program has gone on. This is the fourth time that we're mm -hmm. doing it. But this is the first time we've had a workshop where we're working together. Okay. Um, people are writing their stories. They're getting input from the group and then um, honing them. And it's they're going to be performed on February 15th okay. for the Theater Guild members and their guests. And what kind of departure is this from the, what you guys usually do? It, and and when did you, where'd you guys get the idea from this? You've been doing it for a number of years now. Right, so Barbara, Barb Torino is mm -hmm. the person that has basically right. started this initiative, I Am Me First. Mm -hmm. And um, it was her idea to just give people an opportunity to really dig deep and tell stories about their life mm -hmm. and in a lot of ways a catalyst for them to understand a little bit more about themselves and then share it with people in the audience. Wow. And so uh, what, met, what motivated you to join the workshop and come in and, and do all this, <coughs> all this fun stuff? Right. <laughs> well, um, I kind of laughed because so many people in the class said, Barb Torino. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, some that's people the had taken right. <laughs> some people had taken her class before. We've seen her act and direct, and we found her very um, insightful mm -hmm. about what and why people are trying to express what they are. Uh, for me personally, I've written in the past, and I wanted to experiment with writing about my own life, mm -hmm. and specifically, as I understood the instructions, to write about something that influenced how I've come to navigate the okay. world. Okay. Is it a bigger impact? I mean, we can do fiction stories all the time, but mm -hmm. do you feel that it's maybe a bigger impact when somebody tells their story mm -hmm. and they're feeling that story yeah. on the stage as they're, as they're delivering that? For sure. Yeah. And a lot of people have said it actually has been life-changing. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And to be vulnerable, <coughs> not only yeah. to think about it and to write it, but then to get up there and share it with people. Right, yeah. maybe a that's bit of a catharsis in terms exactly. of something they haven't shared with a lot of people. Exactly. And yeah. kind of, there's that vulnerability right. that we want to see an actor have, but right. there's this real person I, telling their I, story. I was just going to say that, that, that what the class offered me was an opportunity to experience um, what I think is the bravest type of, mm -hmm. uh, is the scariest type of bravery. and. Uh, you know, it's not facing an anaconda in the Amazon River <laughs> late at night, which I've done. But um, it's, it's exposing um, a very intimate, private experience with strangers while fearing that they might believe that that's all who you are. Mm -hmm. And as you said, experiencing such vulnerability makes you a better actor. Mm -hmm. And it can make you a more humble human being. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, one of the things I got out of the class is my wanting other people to love me mm -hmm. is not a weakness. Mm -hmm. So it's been very freeing. And Terry, actually, the theme is love. Or right. we, okay. try, we at least we framed it that way. And then people kind of went off on their own as to what they wanted to write about that. Mm -hmm. now, these are their stories, but do you feel like people discover something along the way about themselves or about that, yeah. that story that they never consider because they're taking such deep dives in the, into these memories right. and, they're, and they're bringing up a lot yeah. of stuff? Absolutely. And I think the class format has actually worked really well this time. It's the first time that it's being done this way mm -hmm. because people are able to get the input from the other people mm -hmm. in the class about how it made them feel. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, the story was maybe just one little part of the original story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, the anaconda thing does sound a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think is the, the best part about the real stories from real people? Either of you guys. What do you think, of the, what do you, think you guys get the most out of or I, people appreciate the most? I think sort of digging deep okay. and, yeah. and really looking for the things that the experiences, the events in your life that have impacted you, have made a real difference in who you are. 
And I think it's entertaining, too. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. it's going to be a show. Um, you know, that has been written by the participants mm -hmm. in a different way. It's not improv, but right. it's right. but it's from them. It's yeah. Now you guys are workshopping this, and you're and you're helping people get give structure to maybe a story that's a little bit unstructured. Right. <laughs> how do you right. tell somebody we don't want to hear that part of the story, or we need to cut this, or how right. do you do exactly. that with a real exactly. story? That's exactly. a definite exactly. challenge, right? Exactly. Yeah, and tighten it up. Yeah, tighten it up, or it's nine minutes and it needs to be four minutes. Is that, that a little challenging? Because it's like, hey, I'm cutting a Shakespeare line. He's yeah. not going to come over and uh, <laughs> say anything about yeah. that. But you know, I think there is a real trust in the group mm -hmm. because they were sharing their stories for the first time with us as a small group okay. of 14 people and um, Barb and I have been you know lead, leading the group she's the leader and I've been assisting her mm -hmm. and I think that that um, trust that was established allowed people maybe you can speak to that yeah. more yeah what are some well, of the benefits you say, feel like you've come pulled away from this right well to piggyback on what you said I Barb stressed to us and it, it's true the class was a really safe environment mm -hmm. to expose ourselves because everyone there is going towards the same goal mm -hmm. of self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you um, appreciate your crea creativity, um, you're challenged, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and as we've said, it can be cathartic. Right. But Terry, have you seen yeah. people like Keith Elliott evolve, come out, like, oh my gosh, this person was meek in the corner when we started this and now they're they're up there and they're and they're going well for it. Yeah. everybody who signed up knew they would have to perform right but i think but some people that came <laughs> in to the class to the group to the workshop were like wait a minute i'm really going to stand up and say right. this in right. front of people it's one thing right. saying i'm going to yeah. do this and then actually start to yeah. do that right and then when they wrote their story too because sometimes it came out to be much more emotional than maybe they thought it would be in right. the beginning right. and yeah there are people that i think are getting up there for the first time and are they're going to do it yeah okay. would you recommend this to others you guys are going to do this again yeah. next oh yeah year? With, absolutely. without equivocation yeah without absolutely equivocation. yeah yeah about how long is this show going to be? How many performers do you have? Do you have so, it all yeah, so laid there's out 14 already? performers. It should be about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, all told. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really The show is I Am Me First, Real People Telling Real Stories. going to be at February 15th at Clubhouse 5 for members. It's, uh, it's uh, I think it's free, right? $10, $10 for guests. show begins at 7. Uh, auditions for readers for the theater. Right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're having auditions this Wednesday on the 7th for our Readers Theater, uh, which consists of um, seven 10-minute plays. It's going to be in April, so the auditions are for those parts, and, and this is important. Um, the auditions are for 1.30 to 3.30. Mm -hmm. We expect people to show up at 1.30 and stay until 3.30 because of the process of how we're doing it. And um, <clears throat> our flyer said that memorization isn't required, and I just wanted to say the directors would really appreciate <laughs> yeah, people helpful. memorizing their lines. So, yeah. All right, Keith Lee and Terry from the oh, theater and the, show. I'm oh, so sorry. Ahead. The auditions are in the performance. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, that, yeah, that would help. Yeah, uh, Clubhouse <laughs> 3 on the stage. All right, well, Keith Lee and Terry sorry. from yeah. the Theater Guild, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. When we come back, we'll be talking to Annie from the African American Heritage Club. Stay with us.